Hello and what's up guys, today we will be applying for Meeting Notification Letter. So if your company wants to operate or travel during the MCO period, you will need to apply for this letter from Miti. Do take note that the permission to travel or operate through the MCO may change from time to time. So at the time of this recording, you will only need the Miti letter and the letter from your employer to travel across districts or states. So the official website to apply for the Miti letter would be the CIMS system from Miti. I will include the link for this website on the description or comments below. The first obvious step is to register an account with CIMS 3.0. So on the registration page, you will need to enter your full name, email, your IC number, any type of identification for your company, it could be a factory, SSM number, or a society, and you will need to put your password for your account. So after you have completed all this, you can log in and apply for the notification letter from Miti. So once you have uh, successfully registered an account with uh, Miti system, uh, this is how the website looks like. So to apply for the notification letter, you will need to go to Borang Notifikasi. Next, uh, select Notifikasi Beroperasi. Okay, over at the Notifikasi Beroperasi, you will need to click on Daftar Notifikasi Baru. So once you are at the Notifikasi form, you will need to enter all the necessary information for your company. So you will need to put in your company name along with the SSM number or the necessary ID for your business. Next, uh, just fill in what is necessary according to your business. On the next part of the form, uh, enter your address. So all the part of the form is uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Just fill in what is applicable to your company or your business type. So over at the breakdown numbers of current employees, you will need to enter the exact number of employees which is applicable for your company. This will include all the staff that is working for your company, whether they are Malaysian or foreigner. The number of staff in your company must match the Excel list which you will need to fill up and upload later. So uh, the next important step is to download the Excel template and you will need to fill up this uh, list with the number of workers in your company. So once you have downloaded the Excel template, make sure you enter their full name along with their IC or passport number. You will need to fill up this list properly as the authorities will be able to check the worker's name and the IC or passport number when they scan the QR code on your METI letter. If you are having trouble uploading the Excel, do make sure you are editing the sheet using the Microsoft Excel uh, 2007 and higher. So once you have done, uh, you can save copy and upload the sheet into METI system. So once you have completed the list, just click on choose file and select the Excel file to upload into METI system. Click on save and next. If you miss any information, you will be notified which you can re-enter the information and you can resubmit your form. Once everything is completed, you should be able to move on to the next page. Over this page, make sure all your information is correct. Click on the verification and you can send the notification application to METI.
Your notification permission has been sent to Miti. Click on the back button to check the status for your notification. The status for your notification should be displayed almost immediately. To do any changes, click on the Kamaskini button. You should be able to add extra employees or update the Excel file. Now click on Kambali to print the letter, click on the Papa button. Once you're here, click on the Chetak Surat. And once you've done that, you should be able to print the Miti letter. Do take note that the authorities will be able to scan this QR code to verify your information with your staff. The information may include the exact staff name and the IC or passport number, so you will need to make sure the information is correct. Do hit the like and subscribe button if the video has been helpful to you. Thank you and have a nice day.